Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Latest data, latest trends. We're still in this period of high pressure for the Intermountain West through 131, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and all the moisture is being directed up into the Pacific Northwest in British Columbia. But everybody's going to feel the heat with this thing. Much higher snow levels, and that will impact snow accumulation, of course. But in the Pacific Northwest, BC, we could be somewhere between seven and 9,000 feet as far as a freezing level. Colorado, Utah, eight to 11,000 feet. First week of February, two storm systems on the board. The first one's a large storm. The second one's actually pretty big itself. We'll look at both coming up. The storm track will be critical to determine where the heavy swaths of snow end up with this thing. There's been a slight downtrend on some of the numbers this afternoon. I'll show you those coming up. In the northeast, you've got some snow happening through tomorrow morning and then some light snow for 2-1 and also 2-2. Okay, let me show you the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. So again, your moisture a lot being transported whites, blues, and greens. Drier air is your red. You can definitely see the dividing line right here. That's your subtropical jet stream. Um, you've also got a big trough of low pressure back here, and that's what's going to turn into that pattern changer for that first week of February. Until then, like I said, the bulk of the moisture will be directed up into this area and also the Pacific Northwest and BC. So it's kind of just a waiting game on this whole thing um, for it to show up. Let me show you the, um, the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs. All the moisture again, Pacific Northwest, BC. Here we go into the future. There's 129 in the afternoon. Very warm and dry across the interior. Not much happening. Here's 131. Here comes the start. The big trough is moving in at this point. You can see it hitting the west coast. And snow eventually hits Tahoe and Mammoth. And then that storm system moves into the interior. So this is 2-2 in the morning. Widespread snow. Now each day will get a little bit colder. When the initial storm comes in, it's going to run into a very warm environment. So then you're going to watch the temperatures fall. More snowfall will take shape late on 2-2 into 2-3, 2-4. So progressively colder each day. Here we are on 2-2 in the uh, afternoon. Here's 2-3 in the morning at about 5 in the morning. Lots of snow across the Intermountain West. Here's 2-3 in the afternoon. At this point, much colder air has infiltrated a lot of the West. And it's all snow all the way down into Denver here at 5.15 p.m. Snow in the Wasatch, snow in the Teton, snow in Idaho, Montana, Banff, interior BC, down into New Mexico. Here we are in 2-4 in the morning, still snowing across Denver and the Front Range, still snowing up in Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. Here's 2-4 in the afternoon. And then by the time we get into Monday in the morning, that storm in Colorado that spun up and enhanced a lot of that snow has finally moved away, still looking at snow across the northern tier of states. Now here comes the next storm. Here's 2.5 into 2.6. This is 2.6 in the morning. Storm system comes out of California. This is the second storm with another shot of snow. Here's 2.6 late in the day. Let me take you back to that. Take you back to 2.6 late in the day. Here we are at 5.15, that second storm moving into Utah, coming out of Nevada. And so, yeah, I mean, we've got, let me see if it goes later into the day. There's 11 p.m. Still snowing, all that beginning to move into Colorado. So, yeah, two storm systems during that first week of February. Okay, let's talk about the jet setup. So here's 2-1. This first storm system, you can see the trough or the dip in the jet coming into California, riding the nose of the uh, the jet stream. And here's this. Here's the jet by 2-6. Very similar to kind of what I was looking at this morning. Got the big trough just off the coast of California. Um, so that storm system already moving in 2-5, 2-6, 2-7 into the interior states with uh, snowfall. All right, snowfall by period here. Here's 128, rest of today through 131. Nothing for the interior, and the snow you see on the west coast happens pretty late in the period. Here's the exciting period. So some numbers have gone down. Um, some have held pretty steady, 2-1 through 2-6. Um, the numbers in the Wasatch have gone down. Uh, but look at the big numbers through the Sierra, southern Utah, Bryan Head, southwest Colorado. A lot of the numbers in, in, in Colorado will be enhanced by that developing area of low pressure in southeast Colorado. About a foot up there in the Tetons, one to two feet in Idaho. That stays pretty solid. Let's go to the northeast here. Pretty light snow. You've got snow tonight into tomorrow. And then some light snow on 2-1 and 2-2, but um, certainly no big amounts. Uh, the best snow is going to be northern Vermont, nor northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. 
All right, guys, we'll end on the uh, the map for 2-1 to 2-6. Again, two storm systems with the potential to lay down some good snow, and eventually we'll bring the colder temperatures in here, which uh, we're going to need after this uh, this almost tropical <laughs> this tropical warm air that's going to develop over the Intermountain West. All right, guys, uh, appreciate you tuning in for this afternoon mountain weather update. Take care now.